Hello everyone, thank you for joining me. It's Dan from James Dunlop Textiles and I'm coming to you today from the Auckland showroom. Firstly, good morning to our friends in Australia, good evening to our friends joining us from America, and of course good afternoon to any of our fellow Kiwis across the country. Over the last couple of weeks uh, you will have tuned in and listened to many of our fabulous team members talk about various colourful, creative, inspirational topics. Uh, full disclaimer from the very beginning, my topic is not going to be quite so colourful so I have surrounded myself with a little bit of colour just to spice things up and make sure you don't all nod off into your lunch or dinner. Uh, today's topic is about addressing the age old question that we receive a lot in regards to I've got a small piece of fabric and I don't know or I'm not confident in which way the pattern or stripe runs uh, in relation to the, war, uh, to the roll. Is it going to be running up the roll or is it going to be running from side to side across the roll? So, basically, I'll get straight into it. It's a very simple topic, but we'll, we'll push through. This illustration is a really nice place to start. It's a fundamental that I've seen any of the Mocum Studio utilise a couple of times. It illustrates a fabric uh, loom and it shows us that there are two directions, two yarn directions when weaving a piece of fabric. There is up the roll or up the um, loom and that is the warp yarn or there is the yarn that comes in from left to right and that is called the weft yarn easily remembered as weft is left so the warp and the weft now below this we then translate that into pattern um, pattern directions, pattern repeat directions we have the vertical pattern repeat that follows the warp yarn up the roll and we have the horizontal pattern repeat that comes across left to right following the weft yarn so vertical is always up the warp, horizontal is always from left to right. Equipped with that knowledge, you really can start answering the question around what way is my pattern going to run uh, whenever you're interacting with the sample. So I have an example here. It's a, a new stripe from Mocum and it has a horizontal pattern repeat. I have the specifics on the back and it's got a 70 centimetre pattern repeat horizontally across the fabric. Now what I do, because I'm quite visual and I thought it could be a good tip for you all, is I actually sketch myself a quick roll of fabric. So I put the roll at the top and drop a length of fabric down. And then I mark, knowing that horizontal is from left to right, some increments across the roll, horizontally across the roll. Now quite simply, if I stretch those increments out, that shows me visually which way my stripe is going to run with a horizontal pattern repeat, as it states on the back of the memo. So I've got a length of fabric here which indicates that. So here's the selvage, here's the memo, translated into a roll of cloth. We have a stripe that runs up the roll. Now alternatively, I have this quality here, which is from Zappel, it's called Hub, and it has a vertical pattern repeat according to the specifications on the back of the cloth. An exact same trick, I would just sketch myself a quick roll of fabric, not quite as tidy as before, and put vertical increments up the roll, knowing that the vertical runs up the roll. Again, stretch those increments out, and quite quickly and very visually, I understand that the stripe, when received off the roll, will run from selvage to selvage, or left to right across the roll, as seen beside me, something I prepared earlier. So, quite simply, when reading stripe, stripe specifications, you can very quickly identify which way the stripe runs in relation to the roll. Now, with double width product, the foundation of that doesn't actually change. What I mean by that is the roll may double in width, but we still measure those repeats in the same way. So it's always up the warp or from left to right across the weft. In that case, we often introduce a symbol, and I'm going to show you here a new product from, Mo uh, from James Dunlop called Impressions, and it, on the hanger it has a vertical stripe because most people will use it in that fashion, so we promote it that way. But on the back of the card, and it is quite small so I've blown it up here, we utilise this symbol which tells me that the sample that you're looking at actually portrays the fabric used in a continuous or railroaded fashion. So you're looking at a vertical stripe, but reading the back of it, noting that there is a vertical pattern repeat, the vertical increment is up the roll, so we know the stripe runs selvage 
to salvage. So always good to combine the two, get yourself confident, and then you can hopefully quite easily and clearly communicate a pattern or strike direction to your customer. That's really it. I told you it'd be short and sweet. Thank you very much for tuning into us this week. We're going to be continuing to inject little topics of uh, helpful hints and knowledge to help your daily dealings with textiles a little easier. And we will catch you again next week. Thanks so much. Bye for now.